Where are you guys headed? Victoria. Victoria. You've ever been there? Yes. Three times at least. But have you ever taken a seaplane? Uh, no. Kick over my coffee cup. Okay, do not kick over the coffee cup. This is a de Havilland beaver and it was probably made in the late 50s or early 60s. Let's go. I think we should do it. We're going to Paul's Bow. Here we go. Don't knock over the coffee cup. Oh, hey there, buddy. We forgot Andy. We're coming back for you. I'm back. I'm here. Hi. Check, there. check, check, check. There you are. What's one of the fondest memories you have? I don't know, seeing something, experiencing something. Is there anything that like stands out? Like, man, there was this one time. You have lots of those moments. We fly up to the San Juans and you see orcas a lot. It's so cool. Like, we live in this city that is vibrant and there's so much going on, yet you don't have to go very far to just get no. away from it. No, you don't. Polsko has a completely different personality to it. Vibe, you know? yeah. Yeah, vibe, that's vibe. the word. He says this is where you park the airplane with no brakes and no reverse. That sounds difficult. It doesn't take much for people's jaws to drop when you look at something so classic as this float plane. People just want to get in. This is what we're prideful about. Things that are unique to our area, like this. Have you ever seen one of these before? Dude, come on, check it out. This is Chuck, this is the pilot. So why do you think we're fascinated by, by flying again? It's different. We get used to uh, traveling in cars and all that stuff, and playing is quite different. Okay, you're telling me about this bakery. Let's go. Oh yeah, right up this way. I'm hungry. Slewy's Bakery. My weakness. You see the cinnamon bread? Look at that. It's a Viking cup with cream cheese. So that looks delicious, and I'm probably only gonna get one more thing, and that's gonna be your snickerdoodle. I don't think you can go wrong with anything in here. So this is like the go-to spot, I guess, huh? Thank you. Everyone's eating from the bakery. Oh my God. So good. you got a pretty sweet life. It's amazing. I, there are lots of days, lots of days that I take off out of Kenmar and I'm coming down the lake and the sun's out, Mount Rainier's out, and the air's nice, and it's blue sky flying in, you know, and I see the Space Needle and whatnot. I just think, like, yeah, I just kind of can't believe. I just, really, this is what I do. It's good enough for Bill Gates and Paul Allen. It's good enough for me. Oh, man. That was so much fun. I feel like a kid again, you know, when you're excited about flying. I'll tell you what, I think we can all agree that living in the Pacific Northwest, I mean, it gives us some of the most beautiful travel destinations right around our area. Now, getting there can be a bit of a hiccup, but this is putting fun and style back to getting to that destination. And it's right here in our own backyard. <sighs> Thank you.